Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> sometimes what is going on ladies and gentlemen yes we are back with another video hhn related i know yesterday we released the mindless horror podcast episode 53 with our boy fossil pebbles go check that out if you guys haven't we talked about it chapter two with our boy fossil pebbles which is links in the bio below go subscribe to him go give him some love support that guy really came through on the live stream on the podcast letting us use his amazing soundboard which we're going to be investing into pretty soon so make sure to go give him a like and subscribe and all that good stuff follow him on his social media very good YouTuber, very good guy. But nonetheless, scare zones are gonna be our topic today for HHN uh, 20, or not 2019, but just in general. So I, I compiled a list of my top five favorite scare zones in the entire time that I've gone to HHN from 2011 all the way to 2018. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Number five is gonna go to Clowns in 2011. Now this was before they had the Parisian Courtyard. This was before they made that animation store. This is when they had more room. This is when the uh, House of Horrors was still there. So. Clowns 2011 was, of course, the first year I ever went to HHN for one, and um, Clowns was just such a fun uh, scare zone. And that's the scare zone that really brought you into the event, uh, introduced you to the vibe of where you're going to be stepping in all the rest of the night. You had clowns with chainsaws, and they were just running around creating anarchy on still walkers and everything. So I really enjoyed this scare zone. Of course, you had the flame tower, and you had the tagging on the on the tower with it said like clowns and stuff like that, which I thought was really cool. So the clowns taking over that area where the Parisian car yard is now was freaking phenomenal. Number four is going to go to 2013's The Purge. Now, the very first year they did The Purge, which was, the area was still the same, uh, still. And the very first year they did The Purge, I thought was perfect. I really enjoyed how they did The Purge in that area. It was very, it gave me goosebumps when you heard the sirens go off, and then you heard, um, you hear the guy go, release the Beast Boys, it's time to purge, or something like that. And I, I just remember vividly getting excited for that, uh, getting excited to be at the event, just hearing the sirens go off and just having them chase and go towards you was just the, the adrenaline of excitement just hit me getting ready for the event so i really enjoyed that scare zone the first time they brought it around number three is going to go to the walking dead 2013 now that was the first time i think it hit the metro sets and i think that was the first time we actually got to go back in the metro sets but nonetheless the walking dead uh 2013 scare zone was probably a very memorable one in my opinion uh, again, that was like I think the second year they did The Walking Dead, so I wasn't completely Walking Dead out yet. I, I was enjoying these mazes when they were still standalone mazes, and this scare zone was awesome. You got to go in the metro sets, and you got to see it was kind of like the metro sets were uh, kind of old and everything, and everything was run down because of the walkers taking over the, the back lot, which I thought was an amazing choice idea for that scare zone. So you got to walk through, see a lot of the iconic scenes from that season, and it was really fun to go through. Of course, like I said, that was when the walkers were still, and the walking day was still like a very really good property at the event in 2013. That was like the second year it came back. So it was, that was actually the same year that had my favorite maze at the event too. So walking dead, Metro sets was awesome. Number two is gonna go to 2018's Holidays in Hell. Now that was the first time we got to see Holidays in Hell. The second time will be this year at the event as an original maze, which I think is gonna be pretty good. But nonetheless, Holidays in Hell, the scare zone was phenomenal. You had, of course, all the main holidays represented and then each, uh, each uh, part of the scare zone had like different uh, types of music playing and stuff like that. Like when you went to the Irish part, uh, St. Paddy's Day part, you got to hear uh, shipping out to Boston. When you went into freaking the, I think like Cinco de Mayo or something like that, uh, you got to hear of course uh, tequila and stuff and it was just, it was a fun maze. Turkey Lurkey was cool. Uh, you know, the Krampus Christmas part is always cool and stuff like that. So I really enjoyed this walkthrough and I just remember having a good time going through it. And my number one favorite scare zone, which was actually an IP brought to the uh, event, I believe last year as well, was of course 2018's Trick or Treat. Uh, not a lot of people enjoyed this, but I, I liked it because there was stuff that we didn't see in the maze that we saw in the scare zone. Example being, the, of course, the uh, women werewolves turning into the werewolves and stuff like that, which I thought was badass. Um, the opening ceremony was cool when you just see Sam come out and watch the uh, vampire uh, principal or teacher just get murdered by the werewolves, which I thought was cool. And of course the werewolves and all the other creatures running towards you was fucking awesome. And on top of that, they had the bus there with the kids inside of it and Sam standing inside the bus, so it was a cool photo opportunity for that as well. But nonetheless, these have been my top five all-time favorite scare zones at HHN 
uh, Hollywood. I hope you guys enjoy this. We are literally, I think, the event starts tomorrow, and I am super excited. I can't wait. Me, Tammy, Ashley, and Foster will all be there. We're going to be uh, doing it Knights of Four style, so catch us. If you guys see us, come say hi to us, take a picture. Uh, we're going to be giving out business cards, so be on the lookout on my social media for that passcode. I'll be putting it on my Instagram story and on my Twitter, so be on the lookout to where that passcode is so you guys can get a business card. Or if you guys just come say hi to me, uh, you guys get a business card. So uh, Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, 600. You guys have one day left in order to enter our 500 subscriber giveaway. We're getting a, giving away a unlisted owner signed copy Blu-ray from Jed Bryant himself. Uh, and then Sunday we're going to be announcing our 600 subscriber giveaway. So uh, yeah, announce it. the winners for these 500 subscriber giveaway will be announced in our HHN vlog this Saturday. So be sure to stay tuned and check that out. That is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, by the way, follow us on social media, Knights of Horror on Twitter, at the Knights of Horror on Instagram. And of course, subscribe and hit that bell notification because we're going to be flooding your inbox with content, uh, HHN related, not scary form related, anything haunt related, uh, Haunted Hayride, Queen Mary, we're, we're going to be at all of them this year. So again, thank you guys for watching the channel. Thank you guys for all your constant support and thank you for being part of the Madhouse. We will see you guys tomorrow.